people PM Prime here at Anime North 2014 with my lovely, beautiful girlfriend. Beautiful girl here, right? Sure. <laughs> yes, of course you are. But yeah, we're here at Anime North 2014 and we just got here. We got our passes. As you can see right here. Boop, boop. So we don't have to wait in no goddamn line. Because <laughs> that's a good thing because look at the mass of humanity. We just see just a taste of it right now. Look at all the wonderful costumes. Some not so wonderful. <laughs> Some better than others. Some uh, showing more skin than others. Which is always a sight. Ouch! <laughs> Ow, my hip! <laughs> I have this. <laughs> yeah, I have this on camera as proof, proof of abuse. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we're right next to airport. So we're gonna have big ass planes coming above us at frequent intervals. So yeah, see you inside, folks, at the dealer room. <laughs> What's up, people? PM Prime here. This is Anthony's Anime on the Gods of Anime Network. Uh, I'm going to be doing my Anime North 2014 report right here, exclusively on the Gods of Anime channel. I'm not going to put it on my main channel because I think it's time to make this channel more, you know, self contained, if you know what I mean. Um, so. I had a weekend pass because getting that weekend pass three days was cheaper than actually buying two day tickets. I don't know how that works, but I was grateful for it. Um, usually it's, I haven't done a, a convention for more than one day for a long time. And I figured, you know what, it's going to be cool, we got a lot of things going on and, you know, really, uh, it should have been just one day again because... You get tired. You don't want to go to the same place three times in a row. That's this. This is how I am. Um, I don't want to see the same people. I don't want to see the same costumes. I don't want to see. I see one and done, and I'm good. They had, you know, the usual dealer room with things that you could buy, the artist alleys, things that people made themselves. Um, they've had the panels, the Q and A sessions. The, um, the viewing areas. This is all anime related, but they also had some gaming stuff going on in another hotel across the street uh, with tournaments and stuff like that, where they were selling video game stuff as well. Uh, all very cool, but, but um, the guest list this year was very, it left a lot to be desired. There wasn't that many people going on here. There wasn't that many uh, uh, famous names. Like last year, they had the voice actor for Vegeta and uh, Shun from Saint Seiya. He was there. He was looking kind of old, but still kind of young. You know, Japanese people—they they, 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 they age really slowly. So uh, he was there, but this year it was kind of lean. You know, I don't know why. So I didn't want anybody anybody's autograph or whatever nobody to wait in line for you know what I mean so it was basically just the dealer room for me and usually I find a couple things here and there I want to get uh, use like uh, games or, or, or figures or, or some sort of uh, something I didn't buy nothing nothing this year I didn't see anything I wanted to get this year I that is fucked up to me. And if I did see something I wanted to get, like say an anime DVD series or something like that, it was way overpriced. These motherfuckers try to take advantage, man. Seriously. At least give it a deal or some shit. Whatever. So I ended up with nothing. Actually, my girlfriend actually got stuff. I actually went with her. She actually got stuff. I didn't get shit. Anyway, 
When we actually got there, lots of people coming. Lots of people in their costumes. Um, the costumes, I don't know. For that first day, there weren't as many. I don't know why, maybe they weren't having that masquerade thing on Friday, but there weren't as many. There was a couple good ones here and there. I got a couple shots of it. You'll probably be seeing it by now. In fleeting glimpses, because I didn't, I didn't want to stop people. Say, oh, pause for the camera. Fuck. I hate that shit. <laughs> uh, I don't want to seem like a fucking drooling fucking nerd idiot. I feel like full hot kind of picture of you. Anyway, um, yeah, they had good costumes, a couple video game characters, so things like that. But then, you know, you got your, like, fucking shitty guys just dress it up, and you're like, this is a terrible costume. Or, it's a good costume, but the details are wrong. Like, that that bear thing from uh, Danganronpa. Somebody was dressed up as that. It looked good, but the colors were reversed. The white side was on this side, and the black side was on the other side, and it was supposed to be switched around. And how can you be a fan of this character? Get the look so precise, but fuck up on something so minuscule as flipping the colors around. I don't understand. I don't fucking get it. It's weird. Anyway, Saturday was a lot bigger. What the footage you see there was on from Friday. So what you see on Friday, imagine three times larger with more people hovering around, people ramming every fucking restaurant. Uh, just pandemonium, fucking, that's all I can use. That's the word I could use to describe it. Um, I didn't take any footage on the Saturday because it was fucking hot. I'm not carrying around a bag. I'm not carrying around a jacket with pockets so I can put that fucking shit, no. I'm not carrying my around my neck. Fuck that. Friday was enough. <laughs> that was basically it. So, on Saturday, we didn't go into the dealer room. Because we seen it all. We wanted to go to the gaming section, because my girlfriend wanted to join in a tournament for Pokemon Puzzle League. And we got there late. And motherfuckers were rude as fuck. Because my girlfriend asked, and he's like, Oh, you're too late. And I'm fat. Fat motherfucking Asian who hates his fucking life. Just sitting there being a jerk ass to my girlfriend. I won't fucking slap him in his fucking fat face. But whatever. So that was a bust. That whole gaming section was kind of lame. They had that fucking uh, StarCraft going on there. They had fucking some first person shooter going on over there. They had a shitty fucking, uh, shitty little tiny room for Smash Brothers and Pokemon Puzzle League and some Genesis games and shit like that. They had a, a rock band room. They had a little thing for a Wii U show in Nintendo Land over there. They had a fucking uh, Just Dance section over there. Whatever, man. Whatever. It's like, not even a fucking fighting game other than, uh, other than fucking Smash Brothers. And it's only for tournaments, so people were hogging up the shits for tournaments and nobody could just go in and play. We're just fucking standing here. What? Fuck that! Fuck that, so we left. Met my cousin there. Uh, she saw, she met my girlfriend for the first time. That was cool. Um, oh yeah, about panels. Lots of the panels, I didn't, there wasn't too many panels I wanted to see. There was a 35th anniversary Gundam panel there. It was all right. I, I missed it though, but all the other ones, they didn't, catch me. There was one we did go to was Unpopular Opinions. Now, if you know me and anime and games, you know that I have some unpopular fucking opinions. But we went in there, we sat down, we were bracing ourselves, but nothing could pre prepare us for the amount of geekery that was being on display right in there. I was like, I am no match. <laughs> they are on a different fucking level than me. Just the entire... Mm. Some of the people in there, man, it's just... Do you go out in public? This is like your first time out in public in like a year, you just wait for Anime North. Just go out. The one dude said... Like, some people were just... I, I suspect that they were just saying stuff to get people whatever. 
you know, like some guy said, Sonic 06 is my favorite game. So one guy got right up in his dude's face. I'm Sonic 06 is dead, dead, dead. I wish, I wish I got that fucking on tape. That was fucking ridiculous. But, you know, sometimes you feel embarrassed to be there. Not embarrassed yourself, but embarrassed for them. Like, em em empathy embarrassment. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how that works, but I felt it. My girlfriend felt it. My friend felt it. I was like, it was so thick and palpable. But me, <laughs> at the end, you know, they were giving out, okay, we're going to say unpopular opinions, raise your hand, and we'll pick you and we'll go move on. And we'll say yay or boo or whatever. So me being the asshole, I say, I got, I got a couple, I got three in. Outlaw Star is better than Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> Evangelion is garbage and Majora's Mask sucks. I said those three ones. <laughs> Nobody liked that shit. I'm a king. Put me on that fucking panel. You know, you know what's gonna happen with PM Prime in charge of that shit. Riots. Fucking riots. You know. <laughs> but anyway. Basically, that's Anime North. I didn't bother going on this third day because, you know, I'm tired, man. We'll go watch fucking X-Men. And that's what we did. And it was a good movie. So we actually uh, uh, did it properly. So Anime North 2014, kind of lackluster. Nothing to buy. Nobody cool to see, to get autographs from. Um, the costumes were kind of meh this year. Shit like that. So, hope you enjoyed the footage, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed my report. I'll probably go back next year. You'll probably get a report, actually, for um, Fan Expo, which is the end of August, which is uh, promising to be better. But the only thing that Fan Expo doesn't have that Anime North does have is the screenings and the panels for anime stuff. They used to have that a while back. They don't have it anymore. And that's a shame. So, yeah, Animated 2014, meh, it was alright, could have been better.